Hi, it's Angry Admin here from AngrySysops.com and today I will show you how to deploy ESXi version 8 for your home lab and I'll be using Workstation, VMware Workstation to do so. Let's begin. To start, let's click on Create New Virtual Machine. Then click Next. And on this screen, we will point to the ISO image, which I already downloaded uh, from customerconnect.vmware.com. Um, you can download your version as well. All you need to do is to sign in or create a new account and then download uh, the vCenter and you can download ESXi hypervisor. Okay, so let's point to my ISO. Click next. We will leave that VMware 7 on later. Let's click next. And my virtual machine would be, this will be my fourth host in my home lab. So let's give a sequence name. ASO ESX N004 dot angry systems dot local and we change the location for my um, virtual hard drive virtual machines and I create a new folder for this machine Perfect. And this is my destination, my location for the new um, ESXi. So click next. I'll just store um, the single file. I don't need to split the disk. It will be just a simple ESXi host um, just for the presentation purposes. So I'll just do the basic 40 gigabytes disk and click finish. Now, it will take a few moments um, to build that machine, so uh, I will speed up a video, uh, but in the meantime, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Um, it costs you nothing, but it will make you very happy. And I will make more videos if you subscribe to my channel. Okay. Um, the installer loaded, so now we just need to follow a few steps. Let's click enter to continue. Now, of course, we have to accept terms and conditions, so let's press F11. Okay, now uh, we are scanning for uh, devices. We should see one disk, uh, yes, 40 gigabytes. Um, I just created this one, so let's continue um, installation by pressing enter. Now we need to choose our lang uh, keyboard layout and language root password make sure you remember that password and hit enter and it just warns us the disk will be uh, repartitioned uh, but we are okay with that and so press F11 to continue installation and now it will take a few uh, moments for the process to be finished uh, once it's reached 100 uh, percent we would have to reboot our esxi and as you can see now we have to reboot esxi so just press enter Okay, and we can see that installation has finished. So let's see how uh, the ESXi 8.0 looks like. And as you can see, the graphics changed with the new version. And let's have a look inside the host. Yes, and we can see that the um, graphically it's uh, it's changed. Uh, 
but the option are still the same. Uh, we can uh, manage a uh, host via vCenter. Uh, we can create a new VM, shut down, reboot, refresh action. Um, I see this pretty much the same as in the version 7. Yes, networks. Virtual machine manage. Okay, guys, um, just a quick glance uh, for a uh, version. Uh, 7 as well just as a comparison so you can see the login patch is different uh, and inside we have exactly the same options but a bit different icons and um, so pretty much the same uh, on the both screens so you can see navigation bar uh, we have a host host manage manage uh, Security uh, and users, uh, acceptance levels, authentication, certification users, roles, lockdown mode, services, licensing. System. Monitor. It looks pretty much and uh, the same so it looks very similar and um, the uh, icons and the graphic is different uh, but more or less you can do the uh, same on both sides guys that's everything what i prepared for you today um please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and hit notification bell because the next video I will be doing um, vCenter deployment uh, and in the following videos I will teach you how to upgrade your infrastructure from version 7 to version 8 first vCenter and then we do the upgrade for ESXi host if you have any questions or comments leave them down below the video and as always you can chat to me through twitter my handler is at angry sysops okay guys thank you for watching that video and see you in the next one bye